Mike's on the live stream right now. Mike? Yeah. Remember, Oregon was going to come to you. Oh, yeah. They loaded from there on the Here's Amber. Except you might be waiting from a firm and a wrecked pole. That's what they say. You know what's great about God? God can use both hands. Satan only has one. That's great. I mean, I'm going to be funny, but I work for a public house. Oh, it's Kyle. Okay. The first rally was violent. In fact, about 80 of us showed up. We were attacked by 200, 300 left. The second rally. The second rally that we had, we showed up again. Again, we were attacked by about an equal number of violence. That rally we brought back. in Sacramento. I know. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Excellent. Seen you since fucking Vancouver. Vancouver. I know, like it was that long ago. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Great crowd. Feel free to check up on the FPS Russia. I look forward. <laughs> What's up, bro? Uh, How you been? Nice shoot. I'm good. Oh, you know it. I always Got look it. sharp. Nice. Gotta. Yeah. Hell yeah. Everybody's here. The whole gang is here. It's a street party. Let's try not to get too separated. Right? We got some in the front, some in the back, right in the middle. Hattie. Uh, yeah. Crowman17. Crowman17 on, on YouTube? On YouTube, but I'm trying to get off of it because they're attacking me relentlessly I'm right sure, now. I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, they demonetized a video of where my neighbor is a Vietnam War veteran just told his story, what happened, what he experienced in Vietnam. They demonetized it. Like, excuse me? They demonetized the majority of the, of the right. The, yeah. The channels, yeah. What's so inappropriate about, about um, an old man sitting in a chair telling his war stories? I know. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah. So what's, what's, what's happening now? Oh, she's got a lightsaber. What? Oh, it was online. Yeah. My mother got it for me as a gift. I heard you say something. I think I was going to be a woman like You look at me like, in what instances do you have, so the concrete instances you have, of organized right wing violence? Almost none. You don't. Ah, streets! Yeah. American streets! How you doing, Amber? How you doing, Amber? Good. How you been? You've been enjoying yourself? You've been safe? Huh? You've been safe? Safe as I can be. As safe as you can be, right? I live in a country now that the communists can run freely on the streets and attack people, and American citizens are attacked. What the fuck I'm is an up American with that? citizen, so I can't be that safe, you know what I mean? Exactly. Not, not, especially in a communist city like yeah, this. You're going to be risking we're, violence we're, we're just by showing up. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But I'm glad the police are now doing their job. Yeah. Someone tried to tell me that I'm risking violence by wearing this. I said, man, I'm risking violence when I decide to show up at a rally. 
a, this is a great sign. That kick thing is a great sign of what what happens when free speech gets manipulated. How you doing? Hey! Hell yeah, damn right. See, that's what they do. They could take a frog, oh, like sorry, I told man. them. They could take a frog and do that. They could take a waffle and say it's racist. They could take a bagel. And they take a racist. fucking waffle and, and make it racist. That's damn right. You could be anything can manipulate. That's the dangers of losing free speech. As they could take things and manipulate. Because one group over here may believe this. This means that. Then when they say we want to take your rights away, they can sit there and say, well, this is you know quasi racist. This is quasi this, quasi that, and manipulate that and take away your free speech rights. That's where the, that's where the slippery slope starts happening. Is where they take something reasonable or even unreasonable in the case of a frog, uh -huh. and they'll take your rights away with that. And that's what happens under this Marxism and stuff like that. They want to take away your free speech rights in order to take away your fundamental rights. If you can't speak out against government tyranny, then you're in a lot of trouble, right? You're right. And that's where it really comes down to. At the end of the day, you have to be able to speak out against the controllers. And if you can't never speak out against the controllers, and your speech is oppressed, and that's what the founders understood, then our country's done. You get rid of the First Amendment, let's go. Exactly. And you know this. It'll be many millennia before you get that back again. Yeah, you, well, if you ever get it back. If you ever, if you ever get, get it back. back. This country's been the greatest experiment in the history of the world, even though, it, you know, every country has this bad history part uh -huh. of it, okay? Of but course. in the history of the world, this country's been the best country Which in the country world. has had no dirty hands, you know? Which and country has well, had do. to and they all do. And cut a few corners to make themselves and, great? And, and, and everybody, I think most people recognize that, and it's, sad, it's a sad consequence in life. But uh -huh. the situation is, you don't replace it by a system of Marxism, a system that has been proven over and over again when it's implemented to be tyrannical and everything anti that freedom is about. This is almost like an oxymoron. It's almost like a sick joke that this is a... That that's the answer to the thing. Yeah, I lost my saddle. Uh, the city of Berkeley really needs to fix the streets instead of worrying about uh, I know, right? funding commons. You know what I mean? They can't so, even get the street right. Well, yeah, they can't get the street right. I keep tripping <laughs> over shit like that. But anyways, the danger of losing free speech is the most scary thing any of us can face. And we got to sit there and understand speech paramount to a free society. Imagine a world without Mel Brooks. Huh? Imagine a world without Mel Brooks. <laughs> I can't imagine it. Yeah, he's, he's comedy now, My but... childhood would be ruined without Spaceballs. <laughs> yeah, he's, he was a great comedian. Yeah, sure. But, um, yeah, at any rate, that's pretty much, uh, free speech is paramount. Right on. Thanks, sir. Thanks for speaking. Yeah, no problem. Uh, thank you. Hey.